Welcome to the Four Listeners Program. Welcome aboard, everybody. Thanks for checking us out this week. What up, everybody? I'm Spear. On the mics this week, we have the Z-Man. What's up, Z? Uh, 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 You sounded you sounded like you were sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you all right? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. On the other mic is the mighty Gantor. What's up, Gantor? How you doing, buddy? I'm well. I'm, apparently, I'm doing better than Z. <laughs> you you clean down there today? <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> so you you crapped your pants? Crap my pants. Out in public? At work? At work? Did you sit in your crapped pants at work? I went directly. All day? I went directly home. <laughs> <laughs> I went directly home. I did not. I did not pass go. I did not collect two hundred dollars. I went. See I, see, I had a really bad one when I was at at work once, and uh, I just threw my underwear away. That would have been one way to do it. Free, and just yep. free balled it for the rest of the night. Day. You were, you're lucky we don't work together anymore, Spear, because I would have found that out. Yep. You think you would have left that building without everybody being made aware? <laughs> This week, something must be done about what offensive offensive shit. People, who, um, people who find people who take offense to shit. No, no, no. It's it's it's. We're not. We're doing that. We're doing the uh, um, people who. No, no. Uh, fuck Indians. But I, it's not that something must be done about Indians, right? No, so, something must be done about Indians. But like the feathers, na- not dots. <laughs> you so, mean Native Americans? Native Americans. Well, I mean that's 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 part of the issue. Right, so whoever these whoever these pussy motherfuckers are that are getting all up in arms about the Washington Redskins. Now, for the record, the Washington Redskins are one of the oldest franchises in NFL history. I want to I want to get this right. So right. right now you're already trying to justify the racism because it used to be okay, so it should still be okay. The Washington Redskins have been a franchise since 1932. So they're one of the one of the older franchises in the National Football League. And they've always had this mascot, right? They've always had this this logo, this name. Uh, it's one of the more classic logos. And recently, there has a there's been a movement in Washington to have the Washington Redskins change their name because it's offensive to Native Americans. Who's who's leading this? Who's who's driving this? Is it the Indians or is it or is it just like liberals? So it started to the best to the best that I can tell. It started. When someone wrote an editorial in the Kansas City Star of all places, um, where he was he was explaining the the paper's longstanding policy of just referring to the NFL franchise as Washington, meaning that they would they would not refer to the team as the Washington Redskins because of the the racial connotations, hmm. and it ended up picking up steam. And then finally, the there was a, a chorus of Washington Post writers that started voicing objections to the name with a with a slew of editorials and opinion pieces and it, it ended up it ended up escalating into uh, you know a series of protests in front of the Smithsonian and and it just it, it's just been gaining so much momentum that now native american groups and pretty much anybody else who's who's just reacting to this or just wants to get on the bandwagon has now you know kind of added their voices to the cacophony of nonsense and and as as far as i'm concerned it's one of those things that is, I think, at this point, historical. Like, yeah. I can't see how, at this point, you're going to change the name of the Washington Redskins. I can't see how, all you of a just, sudden, you're, you're offended. I think it's just being embarrassed for your, your racist grandpa that uses the N-word all the time. You just want to put a stop to it. Now? Well, yeah, now. The, the name of the team dates back to the 1930s. So? So now, so so now we're saying that it's it is it's what the climate of political correctness. I think it's more just not being a an asshole. So what are you going to shame people into never wearing the Redskins jer- jerseys again? Fuck that! Oh no, you just uh, you just market them into buying new jerseys. But then you get the throwbacks, man. But it's not it's not like the problem is that you can't just erase this, right? I mean, there are, there are decades of history with the team name as Redskins. Right, they they won three Super Bowls, three championships under the moniker Redskins. You can't just erase that, but just by changing the name of the team. 
Well, they're not trying to erase it. I just think that they're just trying to realize that they're being douches and change it going forward. My guess is it has nothing to do with anyone who cares about football. Right. There's no way somebody who actually is a football fan has been like, you know what, I don't like this. Yeah, for me, this is for me, this is almost entirely this is this is political. There Come on, a- you're telling me. Let's let's imagine if the Dallas Cowboys were actually the Dallas Wetbacks. <laughs> the Dallas Wetbacks. That you would be okay with that name these days? I don't. I don't. It it depends on how long that name has been there. What? I I guess. I, well, I'm trying to stay consistent with with where where I'm coming from with this, right? It would. It would be. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to twist you into a corner. It would be. It would be if the if they were the Dallas Wetbacks since the 1930s, and it was it was politically it was politically correct to call them that all those years, and now it all it, it came up. That would be different. the The reason the reason I'm the reason I'm hedging on this is because I, I, the other thing is that I would wonder whether or not the the Mexican community was offended because in in 2004 there was a survey done. By by Annenberg, the, the National Annenberg Election Survey, most Indians say the name Washington Redskins is actually acceptable, while only nine percent of nine percent of people polled call it offensive. They're probably just turning around and going, "Yeah, fuck it." They've been called they've been called the Redskins. This is in two thousand four. This was ten. This was ten years ago. So who's making the noise? Is it Native Americans? Clearly not, because ninety percent of Native Americans polled are saying, "Ah, it's fine. Fuck it. Whatever." Well, what do they care? We've already violated every treaty we've ever signed with them, so I'm sure they're I'm sure they're done caring. I mean, I don't want I don't want to be insensitive about this. It just I mean, it just sounds like you're racist. That's, that's right. All. Okay, so I'm I'm a racist. I'm that's what I'm saying. I don't I don't want to be insensitive about this. I understand the negative connotation behind the word the word redskin, right? I understand the 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 feelings that it invokes, right? I get it. But if you're going to go you got to go all the way. You got to change the name of the Cleveland Indians, right? Because we don't call them Indians anymore. They're Native Americans. So call them the Cleveland Native Americans or come up with something else. And oh, by the way, you better damn well change the logo for the Cleveland Indians. The Chief Wahoo, he's, you know, big red, uh, reddish brown skin, feather sticking out of his head, big toothy grin, right? I mean, that couldn't possibly be more stereotypical. I'd agree with you on that. Do you know why they're stereotypes? Because, because they're real. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think I don't even think that that's not a stereotype. That's a that's a not a car- is it a caricature? It's a caricature, yeah. Probably. That's a stereotypical caricature. A racist caricature. That's the definition of a caricature. Racist caricature. Racist caricature. So you better you, you might as well change it then. Yeah, I I agree with that. I support your decision there. And the Atlanta Braves should be changing well, so, their names see, as well. No, come on. The Braves is not. Well, there's nothing negative about that. How about the Tomahawk Chop? That little song that fucking Zeth, Zeth came in with at the beginning of the show. That's not at all uh, stereotypical or racist. Did they use Tomahawks? Did they chop? Then it's, <laughs> then it's accurately historical. Historically accurate. <laughs> accurately historical. <laughs> Historically accurate. I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna do this, we can't just use use the Washington Redskins just because they're in Washington and it's and it's useful from a political perspective. You might as well go all the way. Well, yeah, there's. I I wish that uh, the NCAA made Notre Dame change their name from what the Fighting Irish. Yeah. So here's the thing, you you go to any Irish person and show them you know the logo of a drunken leprechaun fighting, and they're gonna go, yup. <laughs> yeah, but because that's it's, they... because it's an accurate stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> no, no Irish person in their right mind is going to argue with you about the fact that there's a, a fighting leprechaun. Yeah, that's what we do. We're Irish. We get drunk and we fight. We drink, we fall down. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> we do. It's itchy and scratchy, man. Why do you want? Why do you want the? Why do you want the, the, the? Why do you want Notre Dame to change their name from the uh, fighting because Irish? Because I hate them, just like I hate Washington. So, so what? You would just change them to the Notre Dame Irish and take the fighting out of it because it's stereotypical? No, I just want them to change their name so they get mad. So yeah, so they get mad. What's a hokey, by the way? Uh, it is a technically. Oh, no, it's, it's a chicken. A, it's a chicken. It's a, it's a made-up word, but our mascot is a turkey. A turkey that inspires. What's uh? What's the Drexel Drexel mascot? It's a dragon. Like a a nerd dragon. <laughs> 
No, he's a badass dragon. <laughs> it's a badass glasses, dragon, motherfucker. But his glasses. fucking name's Mario. So he's an Italian dragon. An Italian, <laughs> an Italian <laughs> nerd <laughs> dragon. <laughs> You're just jealous because we got a badass mascot and you got a. You know what? You Let's got settle poultry. it on the football field. We don't even have a football team. <laughs> uh-huh. 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 <laughs> How many games has your mascot been suspended for getting in fights? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was watching some kind of repeat from some show. I don't remember what it was, but like the mascot was like they're playing football, and the mascot was the quarterback, and he got floored. That sounds. Like, I would like to <laughs> see that. They just came out and they just fucking took him down. Like it was like. Huge linebacker just came out and just laid him out. I love that. I love when mascots do stuff like that, or when stuff like that happens to mascots. Like when remember when the Philly fanatic used to fuck with people, grope the women, and yeah. rub old fat men's bellies and heads. Dude, that was great. Nowadays, nobody does anything. Yeah, because they punch the mascot. Yeah, would I would love that. I think I would pay extra to to go to a game night where I was guaranteed that there'd be a fight with the mascot. Wouldn't you? <laughs> I don't want you know the free little plastic baseball helmet or you know stupid t-shirt night i'd i'd show up for fight night tell me that wouldn't pull a crowd in philadelphia come on absolutely especially when it's free battery night (laughs) (laughs) here's here's my thing if we get if we get bent out of shape about the the whole indians redskins braves thing do you know how many teams are going to have to change their names Somebody's going to be offended by anything. By anything. Your face offends me. There are, there are quite, there, there are, without exaggeration, there are dozens of high schools that are either named Indians, Redskins, Redmen, Braves. I mean, this is Chiefs, Warriors. You, can't, you cannot stop at just Washington. You have to go all the way. Hey, it's a start, asshole. Okay, but fine. I mean, what's good for the goose, right? I'm not denying that. I'm just, I'm just trying to inflict some pain on Washington. All right. By the way, why aren't, the, um, you, why aren't you supporting me in that? J- well, all right, fine. As a, uh, as a, a fellow fan of a team in the NFC East, right? Yeah, that's kind of what I was going for. All right. <laughs> Can I reach another article? I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I. I'm not even listening to what you're saying, so I'm, I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm interrupting in the middle of something, but have I have to reach when, when does that ever matter? I don't know. I don't know. I just, last week, a group of Native American petitioners and representatives of the Washington Redskins appeared before the trademark trial and appeal board in Alexandria, Virginia, to debate the appropriateness of the team's 80-year-old name. The, pet, the petitioners argued that the word Redskins is a racial slur, like chink or wetback or raghead or the N-word. I'm like, I love how they, they put out all these examples. But it's the N-word. The N-word. N-word. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All the other racial slurs, that's fine. We couldn't say the right, C-word, right. the W-word, the R-word, right. or the N-word. Right, right, right. <laughs> that's great. That is great. You know what? The, the, the irony is that this has already happened to Washington in one of their sports teams. Right? What's the name of the NBA team in Washington? The Wizards. The Wizards. What were they before they the were the bullets. Wizards? The Bullets. Because some somebody got all up in arms about how the Washington Bullets, the name Bullets, you know, contrived the notion of you know guns and violence, and it wasn't, it shouldn't, shouldn't be marketed to kids. Why couldn't it just elicit a, a a fast impression? Sure. You know, like Superman. Right. Faster than a speeding bullet. Just make huh. a bullet a cartoon bullet. Right. But no, they changed the name of the Washington Bullets now to the Washington Wizards. Well, that was stupid. I'm but just glad nobody the... nobody cared because that team has always sucked and will always suck. There you go. I'm just I'm just I'm just glad that nobody's offended by a knickerbocker. What's or... a knickerbocker? It's like it's like underwear, isn't it? I think you're right. But... No, those are knickers. No, knickerbocker is a surname that dates back to the early settlers of New Netherland. So a good thing that no. So it's a good thing that nobody uh nobody gets offended by a 76er. What? Now you're just being ridiculous. I am, but, I, but I'm being I'm being purposefully no, you're, ridiculous. You're being, you're being ridiculous. I, I am being ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. I'm being purpose purposefully ridiculous. No, you're being ridiculously ridiculous. <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah, I, you, you told him. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. It seems to have worked. Yeah. What other? I mean, what other like ridiculous shit do people get offended by for like for little to no reason? The word niggardly. Niggardly. 
Yeah. Because because of the the beginning of the word. I assume. Yeah, you're right. I haven't I haven't heard that word in in. Uh, I don't think I've ever heard that word. I've read it, I, but I've never heard of it. I've never heard that word in conversation. Really? The word never is uttered in conversation. I think some dude got in trouble f- for using it. Well, he didn't get. It caused some trouble because people misinterpret. Or, well, people didn't know what the word meant. I, yeah, Do right, I have to so. look it up for you? No, no, no I got oh, it. Okay. I, I'm it. looking. I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> Not the definition. I mean the news. Grudgingly article. mean. Grudgingly mean about spending or granting. Basically, being a cheap bastard. You would think it'd be called Jordly. Jordly. Oh my God. See, because like, okay, so here's the example. She's a niggardly woman, but so don't expect a handout from her. What's that make you think? She's a Jewy woman. No, that makes me think of like a crack whore. <laughs> <laughs> We're all kinds of racist on this show today, yo. <laughs> oh my god, You're take us Dude, off. The there's internet. a whole bunch of stuff about niggardly incidents. In 1999, a white aide to Anthony A. Williams, the black mayor of Washington D.C., used niggardly in reference to a budget. This apparently upset one of his black colleagues who interpreted it as a racial slur and lodged a complaint. See, this isn't racism. This is lack of vocabulary, right? That's what this is. Absolutely. I as didn't a result, know what it meant. I, but the thing is, I would have assumed it meant the same thing. As a result, on January 25th, Howard tendered his resignation and Williams accepted it. What? That's stupid. However, after pressure from the gay community, of which Howard was a member, an internal review into the matter was brought about, and the mayor offered Howard the chance to return to his position. Howard refused, but accepted another position with the mayor instead, insisting that he did not feel victimized by the incident. People are so stupid. So stupid. That's unbelievable. I mean, this is the mayor of Washington, D.C., you know? Doesn't, doesn't mean he's well-educated. Well, I, you would Wasn't like to... the mayor of Washington, D.C. one time an avowed crack addict? <laughs> Is this the same guy? No. How do you not know this? What's his name? Yeah, I can't know his name either. How do you not Barry? know this? Gosh. Why don't you it's fuck your like, mom? Dude, you, the master of all trivia. However... Well, I'm sorry. I'm not, I, I, I'm not up on my Washington mayoral uh, people fucking whatever. Could you kiss my ass? Marion yeah, like, Barry. Marion yeah. Barry. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, now it's familiar. Oh, uh, that guy. Fuck your mom, you motherfucker. So here, here's here's another question. So let me ask you. Let me ask you, Z. Mm. You're a Jew. I am. Do you get offended when people say Merry Christmas? No. Do you say Merry Christmas? Yes. You do, don't you? Yes. People people get offended when not just Jews, but like atheists or agnostics or whatever else, they get up they get upset when people say Merry Christmas. To me, at this point, Merry Christmas as a phrase has kind of transcended the holiday. You know, it's kind of like the. It's not the Christian holiday anymore. I mean, we've talked a little bit about this, about the commercialization of Christmas and whatnot. It's the general holiday season. How do people get offended by Merry Christmas? It's kind of like a just, you just say it. It's kind of like reflexive, isn't it? It's like saying hello. Yeah. I don't understand. People are dumb. People are dumb. These are the kinds of things, though, that make me crazy, right? The niggardly thing, the Merry Christmas thing, the, the Redskins thing. It makes me nuts. People get offended for the wrong fucking reasons. Yeah. Where if they get like, if they get offended, they get get offended for the right reasons and then take it all the way. Don't give me some half assed bullshit. Are you advocating like riots? Yes. Let's take it all and the way. It's time to light these looting? motherfuckers up, Gantor. I'm just trying to clarify, you know, yes. my understanding of your advocation. Yes, I'm advocating riots and violence and other things of that ilk. Wow. Right. This is coming from me. I'm the biggest goddamn pussy on the planet. You killed a bunch of hookers once, didn't you? Yeah, but they, they deserved it. What are you going to do? <laughs> you guys have a chance. you got to watch the uh, Louis C.K. HBO special. <laughs> he's talking about uh, he's talking about the number one reason why people just don't kill people is because murder is illegal. But if murder wasn't illegal, there would be a lot of killing. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably right. It's probably easy, and, you, and you wouldn't trust people who have never killed anyone. <laughs> <laughs> That would probably mean, happen, yeah. What do you mean you never killed anybody? Not even a hooker once? <laughs> do you get offended by shit, Z? Nah, I'm not easily offended. I'm not easily offended either. Gintor, do you get offended by anything? I get offended it, when people get offended by stuff that they shouldn't be. But as a white as a white dude, I don't think it's allowed for me to be offended by anything. True. That? But it's like, it's like, okay, so something offends you. 
So A, stop listening to it, stop participating, and stop soliciting it. If enough people Otherwise are known as a boycott. Yeah. That's been Howard Stern's thing for, for years and years and years. You don't like what I'm saying? Turn off the radio. Plenty of other people like what I'm saying. Just turn it the fuck off. You don't believe that the Washington Redskins should call themselves that? Don't watch the Washington Redskins. In fact, stop watching football full stop. Yeah. That's all you got to do. What the fuck? Leave it, leave it alone for all, that, for all that's holy, you know? On a related note, a friend of mine uh, pinged me about paying for some advertising on our show. What? Yeah. He, want, he wanted to run a 30-second ad, so I told him 10 bucks. 10 bucks? You're cheap. I'd oh, ask. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I asked him if he listened to our show and if he was sure. He said, yeah. What's really? <laughs> what, does he want we'll us to be here? We'll, 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 we'll give him a free plug. What's with his company? Oh, no. He just wanted to, to do an ad, you know, about himself. His, you know, how Let's awesome. Let's do an ad he, about how, himself? How awesome he is. What does he do? He's in software. Let me get this straight. He's a developer, and he wants to advertise himself on a podcast? Yeah, he listened to the show, apparently. We got to take this guy's money, Z. Yeah, I agree. I got hosting bills to pay. <laughs> 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 fucking shit don't pay for itself, you know. I, I would do it. I would do yeah, it. I would let the kid fucking plug himself for 100 bucks to pay for our serving. Pay $120. That's what I want. Server cost for the year. <laughs> Server cost for the year. It's, it's already gone up 12 times. <laughs> 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 that's our server. That's our server cost. Hundred twenty bucks. Okay. So all right, here's the deal. For ten bucks. For Whoa, ten... Stop! 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 We are not doing this for ten bucks. All right. All right. All right fine. All right. So for 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 <laughs> at least twenty bucks. All right. Ten for... bucks will be the most money that we have ever made on this show. It will be the only money we've ever made on this show. So for twenty bucks, for twenty bucks, we will write a we will write a spot and we will read it for him. Yeah, we ain't writing shit. No, no, no. I'll write it. Don't worry no, about it. No, no, no. You got to write your own. Why would we write the spot for him? We don't know anything about him. All right, fine. For 20 bucks, he writes a spot. We read it, we read it on the show. And I'll sing you a song if you want. Right. For, for 60 bucks, he gets to produce uh, whatever he wants, and I'll just I'll put, it on the, I'll put it on the front of the show. Or, or we'll, we'll intro the show, and we'll go first, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> we'll just kick into the whatever. Because we want to make sure that no one ever listens to it. Right. <laughs> a 30-second commercial followed by 20 seconds of me singing. That's going to keep people listening. Right, right. And then, the, uh, and then for $120, he can come on the show for a topic of his choosing, and we'll just riff with him for a while. Okay. That's, that's the deal. And All for right. $200, oh, there's more. I'll sing any Z Diddy you want. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Does that include not singing? Yes. Not you singing may. is an option. All right. I have some takers. All right. So what did we learn? What did we learn about op- the uh, offensive shit about Native Americans or Indians or what have you? What did we learn? Z, what did we learn? You don't look at shut the fuck up. That's right. Gantor. Uh, learn how a stop sign works, people. Why is that, what does that got to do with anything? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> we, we didn't learn about that during the show, though, Gantor. What do you want from me? I want you to... I want you to say something pertinent to the topic that we've been talking about for the last half hour. You know what? You're a racist. Okay. All right. Fine. I learned that if you're gonna be, if you're gonna get uppity about something, you might as well take it all the way. Don't give me half measures. Take it all the way through. You you like taking it all the way? Your mom likes taking it all the way. No, dude. No. Why? It's too Why? Late. I already used it on you. Why? You can't use it on me. <laughs> Why? Do you think he just laid that up there so you can give him a mom joke back? You, but can't, it, you, do, you can't do a boomerang. How many times have I laid things up and he's he spiked them down? He intentionally did it. You don't. Yeah. I. You know what? You just did, uh, and so are you. That's what you did right now. I'm yeah, I know you glue. were. Is that what I just did? That's what you yep, did. That's I just totally did on rubber your glue. Did. <laughs> that's I know you are, but what am I? That's exactly it. Perfect. Right. So if if I'm rubbing your glue, why don't you go ahead and post it on the Facebook page? Facebook.com slash four listeners or four listeners.com. Fuck you. I'm just moving on. I'm closing on the show. I've had it with you. All right. Uh, you can check us out on iTunes or on Stitcher Radio. Just search for four listeners and we'll pop right on up. Dude, we, you forgot to plug our ad service. The, all right. So if you're interested, you give us a, you, you drop us a line on the Facebook page. We'll charge you exorbitant amounts of money to say shit on this podcast. Sound about right? <laughs> Works for me. All right. I don't care. As long as we get paid. As long as we get paid. Cheddar. We thank you for checking us out this week, and we hope that you will check us out again next week. Thanks a bunch. Everybody.